Hey guys, this is Frank with Nature Pest and sure is hot out here today. But I want to show you the two toughest plants uh, in South Florida to get green and beautiful. And they're Exoras. And I'm going to show you what we do with ours so you can see how we do it uh, and what we use to get the most beautiful Exoras in South Florida. Check this out. Okay, this Exora is very, very difficult to green up. The reason Exora is difficult to green up in South Florida is it doesn't like our soil. Our soil is alkaline, it loves acid. So it has a lot of micronutrient deficiency, but as you can see with this Exora, the leaves are green, they're shiny, they're just no very little pest problems. They get scale and uh, they get uh, some, also some, you can see here, this is just looks like it's been damaged by a caterpillar, uh, but there's very little damage on this plant. It looks beautiful here you hear a little bit of wrinkling that's a mite problem and so what we do is you have to spray these uh, on a monthly basis we use an organic product that allows us to control both the disease the mites and the insects in one time it's organic it's an organic product that works better than most synthetic products and as you can see it looks really really good there's no chlorosis anywhere on this plant when we took this garden over six months ago these things were all chlorotic they had spots all over from not having uh, deficiency in our organic program we also include all the micronutrients in a foliar spray that is uh, also an organic product that we use to control uh, the chlorosis problem and what chlorosis is is the inability of this plant to produce chlorophyll because there's nothing in the soil. So we also use up the Florida Palm Special Fertilizer, which is the best fertilizer you can get for shrubs and palms uh, in South Florida, specifically formulated for South Florida. And what we do is we get this uh, and we do it three times a year with this type of plant in the garden and in the palm trees to get them. You can't just do foliar spray with fertilizers and keep this plant beautiful. It's not gonna happen. You can forget about anybody trying to sell you a foliar spray only service is not gonna happen. So that's what this one looks like. Let me show you this other one. This is the other type of Exora. And what happens is it gets over trimmed, over pruned. It's very chlorotic also, but look, it has a ton of flower, great color uh, on the, on the uh, new stems growing. Uh, you can see it looks nice and even the color very difficult to get green unless you do it this way you have to do it every three months uh, every three to four months with a granular fertilizer and then a monthly application of micronutrients and then also some type of insecticide we use an organic oil blend that we custom blend uh, to get the results it also deals with diseases it deals with mites much more natural much more effective for this type of plant uh, to have a micro uh, to do it with a natural or organic product Hey guys, hope this video has been helpful. Do me a favor, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends to help them have the most beautiful garden. Plus, if you got any questions, go to our blog. There's a link below to our blog, and all the products are there that we use. We show you how to do it yourself. If not, just give us a call, and we'll be glad to go ahead and service you. Thank you, have a great day.